Today we have Old World Charm with Old World Beads from the Beadery. And joining me is Ray Seifert. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Glad to be back. Now, are beads becoming more popular? They're, I see them everywhere. You're right. They certainly are with the, the kind of the neat Old World ethnic-y type look mm -hmm. combined with Western. And this Old World bead line from the Beadery is perfect for this look. And you have a fabulous example here with a, with a pendant. Tell me about this. Well, the pendant is uh, strung on the shiny black rat tail ribbon and uh, the old world beads are used to make the little charms that are hanging from the ring. The centerpiece is the new Baroque drop from the beadery and some of the other old world beads that we have. Okay. What tools do we need to, to okay. make this project? You need a pair of long nose pliers, uh, wire cutters, and round nose pliers. You need a couple of different findings. You need head pins, which is the pin with a little flat end, and you need an eye pin, which is the pin with the loop. And of course, your old world beads from the beadery and a ring. And we're going to start making the first piece. We're going to take one of the head pins and you're going to string on it the new broke drop. This is a fabulous shape for the centerpiece to your pendant. It is. It's really great. It's brand new. And then you're going to take your long nose pliers. You're going to bend the end of the pin back. Take your round nose pliers. Bend it over into a loop. After you get it bent, you're going to take a pair of wire cutters and clip it to size, like so. And you're going to make a drop piece like this. The drop piece is attached to an eye pin, which is strung with more of the beads, and there you have your center piece. You're going to construct other charms, which are done on head pins using old world beads. Now, which are the beads that are giving you the color here? Tell me about these beads. Okay, those are little four millimeter round beads. Okay. And this is a large hole acrylic round bead here. All of these pieces are strung on your ring, they like your so. Charm. There you have your charms, okay. your three charms. Then you're going to take your black rat tail ribbon, and you're going to just loop it over the charm. Then you're going to put on two more old world beads. And then, after you, this is centered, you're going to tie a knot. Okay, this is very simple. Everything is attached there. And then you're going to, of course, place it around your neck, and then you're going to tie the ends together. Right, that makes a, a, a very easy necklace Right, project. we have some other color combinations. Right. So depending on what color beads whatever, you use, you get a completely different Right, whatever look. to go with your outfit there. We're showing that there with uh, the terracotta and the ivory. And uh, we have some examples of some other pieces, now, too. let's take a look at the earrings that you've made down here to match also. And the, that just ties in some of the same. Right. The earring is done with the same, same sort of pieces. Okay. You can make matching earrings. And we have another charm look down here with different size rings. Tell me about this. Right. This one here is done with a larger size ring. And it's done with a lot of the melon beads and the different shades of turquoise and ivory. And this one has more silver in it than the other pieces. Okay. And then we're talking a little bit of different style here. Rather right. Than, than this, the this, this piece here is done with uh, some of the smaller beads. This necklace here is actually strung on thread because it's using some of the smaller whole beads. Okay. And this I recognize because several right. months ago you several demonstrated months ago. this and we have a Get Acquainted offer in our catalog, right. which is a beautiful effect again on the rat tail. Cord. The multiple strands of rat right. tail on that piece there. And, and again, another color combination up there on the uh, shirt. Now, these beads are large. Are they heavy? They're not heavy. They're very light because they're made out of plastic that has been antiqued and uh, plated and uh, they're very light, so they're very comfortable to wear. You know, they have a wonderful feel to them. They feel very expensive. When I put on the bracelet, I had mentioned that to you. And uh, these are more of the old world right here. Right, right. That, the bracelet that you're wearing there is uh, strung on an elastic cord. The large hold is great for stringing on any elastic or rat tail ribbon or leather or pieces of fringe for okay. garments or whatever. Let's real quickly touch on my earrings here. You have some other pieces from the beadery. Right, some other pieces from the beadery. The uh, large piece is the uh, frosted cabochon and that's glued onto a stone enhancer. And then you've got some of the old world beads and some of our other regular craft beads mm -hmm. for the little dangling elements okay. there. Now we do have free instructions on the pendant that you made today. If you'd like a copy, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Old World Charm Pendant, Box 9500, Buellton, California, 93427. Thank you so much for joining me today. You're welcome. You have wonderful products at the beadery. I know a lot of designers use your beads in, in a lot of product projects here on Creative Living. Great.
If you'd like to make the Old World Charm Pennant Project, we've made it super simple because we've assembled materials you need in a Get Acquainted kit. The look of Old World jewelry is so very popular and easy to create with this great Get Acquainted kit. Each kit contains all of the materials needed to create the beadery Old World Charm Pendant, including 16 beads, rat tail ribbon, head pins, jump rings, eye pin, and wire ring. You'll need to provide the wire cutters, round nose pliers, and scissors needed to assemble the pendant. Call now to order at 1-800-825-3363.